Hello, I'm Mike and welcome to 33 Mile Garage. Today we're going to be talking about budget friendly wheels and tires for your 1997 through 2006 Jeep Wrangler TJ. When I mean budget friendly, I'm talking about buying used wheels and tires, not together, separate or together, however you find them, uh, off of Craigslist or Facebook Marketplace, wherever. A couple important things you need to know before you start looking for wheels and tires. Jeep 1, lug pattern. 97 through 2006 Jeeps will all have the same lug pattern. It's a 5x4.5, five meaning you'll have five lugs and they will be 4.5 inches apart. So that's your lug pattern on the 96 through our 97 through 2006 Jeeps. Newer Jeeps are going to have a 5x5, five five, meaning that it's a 5-inch lug, lug pattern. Measuring a 5-lug pattern is pretty straightforward. What you're going to do is measure from the edge of your first stud to the center point of your opposing stud. So take your tape measure, hit the edge, center point of the opposing stud, 4.5 inches or 4.5 inches. That's your stud pattern space. It's only that way on five lug pattern. Uh, just for example, here's an eight lug pattern and how the eight lug patterns are gonna be measured, they're gonna be measured center to center. So that would be center point to center point. And, and this measurement would be directly across. So it would be here to here. You wouldn't be going like that like you would on a five lug pattern, completely different. So just, just for a point of reference, four lug patterns like you'd find on a VW or something like that, again, would be the same way. It'd be center to center. Next thing, and this is more of a preference, a stock wheel. Get this out of the way for the time being. Uh, your stock Jeep wheels are typically 15 inches diameter. So, and that's going to be preference if you want a uh, 15, 17, 18 inch wheel or whatever, you know, whatever diameter, that's, that's up to you. Measuring rim diameter, pretty straightforward. What I got for a sample here is a 15 inch Jeep wheel. I'm gonna flip this around backwards here. You see the back side of it. And remember, as a reference, you're measuring bead seal to bead seal on the rim. You're not measuring edge to edge. If you measure edge to edge the rim, you'd be looking at a 16 and a quarter inch rim. That's not a 16 and a quarter inch rim. It's a 15 inch rim. So again, where I got these tape lines, that's the edge of the bead seal. So there you go. You've got a 15 inch rim. That's how those are measured. Uh, just be careful with that if you're out in the field measuring with a tape measure that you're measuring bead seal to bead seal. Uh, the next thing that's going to be important is the back spacing. And that is going to be how far, come on back here, how far the mounting surface is away from the rim. That's going to be also very important. If that's wrong, what's going to happen is your wheels are going to either stick out way too far or start rubbing your frame. All right, before we get into back space and offset, we're going to need to know our rim width. So our rim width is going to be from inner bead seal to inner bead seal. I've got our Jeep wheel here, and we're going to measure from inner bead seal to inner bead seal. That's eight inches. That's going to be an eight inch rim. The way that that's measured is, I'll show you quickly here. That's going to be the inside of the bead seal to the inside of the bead seal. So take this back here, and we'll do a quick measurement. And that is going to be eight inches from inside a bead seal to inside a bead seal. All right. Uh, you can measure from the outside, that's going to be 9 inches, that's incorrect, that's not a 9 inch rim. Bead seal to bead seal, 8 inch rim, that's how those are measured. Now the bead seal to bead seal measurement is going to be important also because when we start working back to the center portion of the rim, we have to have something to measure and reference from, and it's going to be the bead seal. We may take some measurements to the outside of the rim to find the, the, find the center, but ultimately all our calculations are going to be based off the bead seal. The way I measure backspacing is, I'll take it from wherever I can get a good measurement and a flat from, but I'll only use that backspacing measurement to calculate where my bead seal is, because that's what I'm going to take all my measurements from. This a bead seal then takes the rim width into consideration, and I can work from that number, from the rim width number, to actually get the offset, which is the most important thing and the most accurate. Just simply take a dimension to the mounting surface. So in our case, stock Jeep wheel is going to be five and a quarter for the mounting surface. All right, the next thing that we got to do is subtract because the measurement's taken from the bead seal. So we're going to subtract a quarter inch from that. So from our measurement from the edge of the rim to the inside was five and a quarter. We're going to subtract a quarter inch to get us to the bead seal. That gives us five inches to the mounting surface to the bead seal. Take into consideration the offset. The offset is measured from the center point of the rim. This is an eight inch wide rim. So we're going to take that and divide it by two. So that's going to give us four inches. So we're going to take then the four inches of the center point of the rim, which is going to be here. So that's going to give us an, a positive 
one inch offset or this rim is a 25.4 offset in the positive direction. All right, so that means from the center line to this rim, this mounting surface is 25 mils or one inch to the forward side or the outboard side of the vehicle. That is a positive offset. So the positive offset is going to send the rim and the tire closer to the frame of the vehicle. All right, next up, we're gonna get into negative offset. So in our case, the more negative offset that we get, the more we're gonna push this wheel to the outboard side. So what I have here is a one and a half inch wheel spacer. What's gonna happen is we already know that we are a positive one inch offset in the positive direction. This will put us negative one and a half inches. So what it's gonna do is we know that we were one inch to the front side of the, to the outside of the vehicle from center point of the rim. Now we're a half inch negative or 12.7 millimeters negative offset from the center point of our rim. So that's gonna drive us an inch and a half from where we were before outboard, giving us a much more aggressive look. So that's a general overview of offset and backspacing. So those three are critical. And the cool thing about it is all three of those you can easily go out in the field and measure with a tape measure. Uh, a couple other things that we're gonna hit on too is spacers, wheel spacers, if you like them or not. It's kind of cool. I personally, I'm okay with them. Some people hate them, but yeah, that's up to you. But like here, I've got a stock wheel mounted. Uh, this is a 32 inch tire. It sits pretty much even with the wheel well, but if I put a wheel spacer on, that's an inch and a half wheel spacer, that's gonna bring that wheel out an inch and a half. It's gonna give it a way more aggressive look. I'll throw these on there and let you guys take a look at it, see what you think, all right? The other thing is when you're dealing with aftermarket wheels, there's gonna be a much bigger market, come back here, for wheels that are gonna fit a newer Jeep style, like this one here. This is a 17 inch wheel aftermarket. Uh, these will fit a five by a five by five spacing, meaning the lug nuts are five inches apart. All right, so that is not going to fit on this Jeep. But what you can do is purchase something like this. This is a uh, converter which will take a four point five to a five by five wheel spacing, so you can mount a wheel like that. Uh, the only reason why this is valuable to you is there's a huge market, and they're much cheaper uh, for the newer Jeep wheels with. A five by five wheel space. They're readily available everywhere I look, I can find them. Looking for the 4.5 wheel spacing is a little bit more difficult. You can find them and you can find them reasonable. But I'll tell you what, man, the market for the newer wheels is huge. You can find them a lot cheaper, especially for a budget friendly build. However, you're going to be into uh, for four of these, it's going to cost you about 120 bucks for four of these. This is a good quality uh, adapter. So, so, first thing we're going to do, we're going to look at a 15 inch wheel. 32 inch tire uh, this jeep has a three and a half or four inch lift on it and then you can see the spacing right now is pretty much straight with the wheel so i got the wheel space around there you can see it's a little bit more of an aggressive look it sticks out of the wheel well a little bit it's probably inch and a half maybe two inches outside of the wheel well now gives it a little bit more aggressive look so all that is is just a simple 1.5 inch wheel spacer. So it's a 4.5 stud to 4.5 stud. That's all, all it is. This is the cool thing about the longer lug nuts. A lot easier to get started in the deep pockets from these aftermarket wheels. There we go. All four wheels and tires on there. You can see the offsets pretty nice. Got a nice aggressive look to it. 17 inch wheels, 33 inch tires. Roughly the offset, offset is 3.75 inches. So, and that would be a negative pushing the wheel outboard. And you can see there what you're looking at. You can see that you got about a, a whole tread length on the tire sticking the outboard side of the wheel. Looks pretty cool. So overall, again, this is supposed to be budget friendly. I spent $500 on the wheels. I found them used on Facebook. Uh, that was also with uh, TPSs in them, tire pressure sensors. This Jeep, of course, doesn't have them, so they really don't matter. The other thing is I did get, for 500 bucks, I did get five wheels. So I have another wheel for a spare, which is important. And get outside and we can look at it in the daylight and see what you think. 